And welcome back to The Morning Blend with our continuing series, Your Money, Your Future, with Steinbrenner Financial Group. Well, everybody retires eventually, but to do it right, there are a few things you need to consider. We hope we <laughs> retire eventually, right? Kim Steinbrenner is back with the realities of retirement. Painful it's sometimes. Not, <laughs> right, not the rest and relaxation, but the realities of the, retirement. Exactly, yeah. there's a lot of realities that people had no idea are gonna happen. Yeah, yeah, but I think it's good to know them the earlier the better. The earlier um, the better. And so that's why I like this, this list of realities. So one of the things you say is up to 85% of your social security benefits can be taxed, which I think would, is probably shocking to That's some a high people. Percentage. Shocking to a lot of people. Now, people that are near retirement and close to retirement already know this. This is no big okay. secret. But people your age and younger, you tell them, you know, they're expecting, oh, I'm not going to save in my 401k. I'm just going to live on Social Security. Really? 85% of your Social Security can be taxed. Did you think about that wow. part? That's crazy. That's a lot. So that obviously emphasizes that importance of planning and saving early. The importance of planning and saving early and know what your income limits can be. So obviously they're going to change as years goes on, but it's something you really have to take into consideration. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. IRAs are something I think people are, are starting to be more comfortable with and learning about. Can you still contribute to one as a retiree? Is a retire as as long as you're working, oh. you can contribute to a Roth, and it's up to uh, income phase out limits again. Gotcha. But how long do you really want to work? <laughs> Good yeah. question. Right. It's funny because people called here earlier today. You know, look at like, are you going to be on today? Yeah, because I think they're very concerned about like the things you're saying. They yeah. were, like this is an important topic for people. People are watching the news. People are watching headlines. People are starting to say, well, what is my situation? I haven't really looked at it. I put 401k money. I started my 401k a long time ago. I never looked at it. I have no idea what I'm invested in. Mm -hmm. And the balancing of your 401k, especially as you get closer to your retirement years, can be crucial. Meet with somebody. Call me. Yeah. I'll sit down with you. I'll look at your 401k options and help you make some decisions. Yeah. See, I love that. And here's the thing is I feel like a lot of people who are watching, especially if they're close to retirement or maybe they even have already retired yep. or they're kind of starting that process, they're embarrassed maybe yeah. to ask some of the questions that they know they should have asked in their 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s. Yep. But really, it's never too late to get a good plan and kind of to get a fresh start and a realistic look at your retirement options, right? Defin oh, definitely. Even if you've retired, so many people leave their money at their company because they think that's what you're supposed to do, and they just start liquidating assets. Mm -hmm. What's the reality of people carrying education or mortgage debt into retirement? It is shocking how many retirees have a student loan. What? Really? Yes. I can't I, even Are they doctors that. and lawyers? No, no, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> when do they get communication degrees in psychology? A <laughs> hundred years ago when I went to college, I could afford to pay for my college. Today, the reality is kids can't afford to pay for a college education. Yeah. They're, they're neither loans. can their parents. Yeah. <laughs> well, and neither can their parents or, for whatever reason, are not eligible to take out a student loan, yeah. a P loan, PLUS loan, whatever you want to call it, a parent co-signs a loan. So if a parent can't, right. grandma and grandpa do. And what happens if the student can't pay back their debt? There's a lot of retirees out there that are carrying student loans. It's crazy. For even their grandchildren. For their grandchildren. That's exactly what it is. It's the grandchildren. Wow. Wow. And they always say don't rob your retirement to pay for college for someone yep. else. Now, what about mortgage debt? A lot of retirees have mortgage debt. Yeah. Probably 40% of retirees carry, still carry mortgage. Is that a bad thing? Is that what you're saying? It's a bad thing because you're retiring typically on 70 to 80% of your income. That's, that's a, it's a typical goal that people have. And if you're only earning 70 to 80% of your income with your retirement funds and you're still paying your full mortgage, that puts a really big strain on your living expenses. Yeah, mm -hmm. it does, because then you're probably really nickel and diming everything else in your life, including travel, which is what we teased earlier. Yeah. that a lot of people want to travel they have this like big lofty goal of when I retire I'm going here or my you know partner and I are gonna go these places yeah but less than 10% is that true are actually able to do that people are just not putting money away less than 10% of people actually have any sort of a travel fund put aside and that's not just for yeah. big no we're gonna go abroad we're gonna go to Paris this is just Let's go see the grandkids. Let's yeah. go on this cruise we've always wanted to go on. Mm -hmm. So there's just not nearly enough people that have, that have put the money away. And even talking to people every day, the younger generation, are you putting money in your 401k? Mm -hmm. I had a conversation with somebody today, and I'm not going to tell you who it is. No, not yet. 
See, <laughs> that's just, yeah, so like, that's, how old was that person? Uh, well, 20s, a lot younger 30s? than me, 20s, yeah. Okay, 20s. So I just pulled out a quick piece of paper and showed her, if you use a 401k as yeah. opposed to saving outside of your paycheck, that can be a huge difference. And that compounded interest you talked compounded about. Compounded interest. And because employers tend to match, at least up to, yep. even if you just do that minimum part. Free money. Yeah, yeah free money. It's free money. You know, and it was just a, a, a quick math equation. If you, if you put $250 away every month for 20 years, let's say four and a half percent interest how much do you think you're gonna have after 20 years just ballpark um oh god i'm so bad at this game five hundred thousand not quite you're pretty oh. you're pretty aggressive <laughs> <laughs> i want to work with your advisor <laughs> A hundred thousand dollars is about the round number. Oh, okay. okay. So I mean, it, and it can make you. See, know, you would have thought you were traveling all over the place. Right? <laughs> like, nope. A little overly optimistic. A little over optimistic. But really quick, your last point, because this is something that's very important. Healthcare is most yeah. likely the the biggest expense in retirement. Um, studies in yeah. indicate that people are paying th hundreds of thousands in some cases for those expenses. Your body. So you've got to really plan for that. You have to really plan for that because there are there are long term care policies out there if you bought one 20 years ago you're golden they're almost completely unaffordable now uh -huh. so you really have to plan for you know 250 270 285 thousand dollars is some of the average numbers that they're throwing out there for oh. medical expenses that's crazy so the only way to do this is to meet with you and get a plan <laughs> that's yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah you gotta meet with me i have no future i'm going in to meet with you kim all right <laughs> Contact Steinbrenner Financial Group at steinbrennergroup.com, 414-266-1900. Never too late to start saving. <laughs> Great to see you again. Thank you very much. Love it's your nice advice. And the reality check.